Okay, greetings once again. I'm Francisco J. Colaco. Welcome. Magandang araw sa inyo lahat. Ito sa ating regular weekly blog. Uh, alam nyo, there have been a lot of uh, emails and texts that have arrived. Very interesting ones. Mukhang there is a lot of interest again on uh, Bitcoin. And uh, I felt that today, this week, we'll talk about Bitcoin. What is Bitcoin? What can you do with Bitcoin? Etc. First, let me tell you, I have been with Bitcoin or engaged in Bitcoin since 2015. I bought my first Bitcoin when it was $200. Am I, believer in, am I a believer in Bitcoin? You bet I am. I believe in it. Unfortunately, a lot of people don't fully understand it. So there have been a lot of uh, negatives about it. At Madaming scams have come out precisely because people don't understand what it is. And they attract them na napakalaki ng returns and therefore they come up with all kinds of programs, online, etc. And they fooled a lot of people. So this has brought Bitcoin in a bad light. But in reality, what is... Tignan natin, ano ba itong Bitcoin? Ito ba pera? Well, first of all, remember money is all about uh, value. Kaya tayo may piso, may value yan, nakakabili ng goods. And why do we use the peso? Because we trust that that, is, that paper money is accepted by all. Why? Because it's backed up by government. Diba? That's called trust. So money is value equals trust. Ganyan yung pera. And we're not going to the history of money anymore. But in a sense, why do we use the peso? Why do we use the dollar? Why do we use the yen? Why do we use the euro? It's because people think it has value. And people believe you can trust the government behind it. So, is this true also for Bitcoin? Well, Bitcoin was invented precisely because the trust that people had in the financial industry, financial sector of the world, failed them in 2008. Uh, in 2008, there was a collapse of financial system because of fake fraudulent securities. Securities that did not have value, that were promoted by authorities na may value, when in fact, wala. So, mali, fraudulent. Nag-collapse ang industry. A lot of countries, Iceland, for example, lost all their pension funds from by 90% in value because of fake securities. I'm using fake very loosely, but it was fraudulent. So, this group of scientists at Computer Geek decided, enough is enough, let's create a digital currency or cryptocurrency. The currency was encrypted, many may mga secret codes, so that nobody can just manipulate it and create new ones. Uh, as opposed to the dollar, dollar is being printed every day. Or any government can print its own currency because it has the right to do so. Bitcoin not the case. The limit nila. So I'm not going to the detail, but suffice it to say. And Bitcoin is no longer controlled by any single authority. It's controlled by all of those, all of us, who use it by the use of technology which they call the blockchain. Uh, blockchain, again, we can devote another time on that, but suffice it to say, blockchain is a, um, sabihin na natin, ledger of all transactions na hindi pwedeng mapalitan because all of us have a copy. All of us who use Bitcoin, or any cryptocurrency, have a copy of that ledger ng bawat transaction nakikita natin, technically. So that if there are 2 million using it, 2 million ledgers are out there, lot, all of us have a copy. Technology allows us to very validate kung tama yung information na nandun sa ledger. So this is what uh, the blockchain is all about. Hindi siya pwede palitan once the record is in place. Hindi na pwede palitan at hindi pwede i-duplicate. Kaya, very, very uh, dependable. To this day, the blockchain has not been hacked. Ano ang nahahack? Yung wallet mo. Ano yung Bitcoin wallet? Bitcoin wallet is how you own Bitcoin. You put it in a digital wallet, virtual wallet. Hindi physical wallet ho yan. It's like when you own a bank account, bigyan ka ng online statement ng banko. 
That's digital information. Ganun din ang Bitcoin. Digital information about how many Bitcoins you have. And your wallet is your address, meaning your bank account. Except that your wallet is your own bank. Unlike now, when you own a bank account, that account is made by BPI or BDO or Union Bank or whichever bank you use. Yun ang bank account mo. Hindi yun, sa banko yun. Ang Bitcoin wallet is your own. Ikaw ang sarili mong banko. So that's it. That's what Bitcoin is all about. We'll go into the details later. Now, is Bitcoin a good investment? I bought Bitcoin when it was $200. It's about $9,000 now. Is it $19,000? Kung sasabihin mong investment yan, very good. But I like to think of it as digital gold. Para kang bumili ng ginto, except that it's Bitcoin. So it's a store of value. Ang dami nagsasabing wala yung Bitcoin, hangin niya. Over 480 times na, people have declared Bitcoin is dead from the Nobel Prize economists. But they're getting it wrong. It exists because people want to change how we use currency. So, ika nga eh, ngayon, Bitcoin has changed the concept of trust, the concept of ownership, the concept of trade nagbago because of digital currency. Ibig sabihin yan, very simple. Tayo are un we control our own currency. And to that extent, to that extent, this is the changing world. Gone are the days na merong isa lang magdidikta. We as consumers want to have control in our lives, control in the things we do. This is what cryptocurrency is able to do to us. That's why it's being, being uh, opposed by so many governments because they will start to lose control. Tayo naman consumers, we will start to gain control. Malayo pa that this will be fully adopted and easily used because as of now, kailangan medyo techy ka to be able to use it. You cannot still use it to buy uh, a cup of coffee or a piece of candy. Then masyadong komplikado pa, but technology is running very fast. Baka next year pwede na. Many, many developments, regulatory bodies are already um, moving also in support. In Japan, in 2017, legal tender na ang Bitcoin, meaning pwede ng pambayad. Sa Switzerland, the same thing. Other countries are moving it. So if you are not in it, you will get left behind. I believe in it, but if you ask me for a formula, I cannot give you faith and, and prudence. No, kaya kung meron ka konti pera, you should be in Bitcoin. Don't put all your money in it. Hindi nga investment grade daw, eh. but it's a store of value. Personally, 100%, I'm behind it. Hindi mo mamatay yan. 480 times sinabi patay na. Why is it still alive? It's not a bubble. Walang bubble na bubaksak at naka, nakabawi. Ang Bitcoin has gone over 20 times up and down, 100 times up and down. It's still up. It's not a bubble. It's reality. So that's what Bitcoin is all about. Now, will, should you get into it in our cooperative? Dahil nakita namin madaming nag scam we, des we decided to step in and said, look, huwag na kayong mag-scam. We will, we will, if you want Bitcoin, we'll explain it to you. You, you take the risk, but we'll make sure your assets are not are with you in your name, and we keep it in our own wallet. Very technical, huh? Yeah, sabihin na lang natin that the co-op contains has the has the value of the Bitcoins of its members in its own wallet outside the internet, hindi pending ihak. So that's what we do, and we have members who sabi namin. Si Robert Senisa, pumasok siya, I think 19,000 pesos worth. Siya nang decision, hindi kami. We just guided it. We bought it for him because he believed in it. And he cashed out 103% in less than one year. Six months lang. Sumugal siya, sabihin niyo. Okay, but mali ba magsugal? If you're a young guy, and you can afford to gamble X percent of your money. Why not? I do it. I'm 75. I do it. So, but it's something I can afford to lose. Para kang bumili ng loto. But this has more fundamentals than loto. 
So there are still a lot to learn. And please, let me know if you have questions. I'll be more than willing to research it for you kung hindi ko alam. I am, nobody is an expert in Bitcoin. I engage in it so I understand it a little. Maybe more than the average guy who is in it. Pero, maybe you know more. Please help me. Bring in the issues, let's discuss it, let's learn together and grow it some more. This is an opportunity of a lifetime. We are at the infant stage. Governments and regulatory bodies are moving to support Bitcoin long term. Be in it now. Don't left behind. Don't forget though, subscribe, press the button below, ask questions or even suggest topics about Bitcoin or anything else. We'll learn together. And if I know more about it, I'll share it with you. If I don't, I'll research it for you. Okay? See